Hello everybody, my name is Benji, and welcome back to Satisfactory. This is part 16. It's actually part 16 this time, unlike the last one that I did that it was not part 16. Uh, anyway, we're back here at the home base, and we have a bit of a dilemma. Uh, and that bit of a dilemma is the fact that our power is pretty much, like, overlapping right now. You can't even see the consumption and production because they're overlapping. Uh, which means we're using biomass and also batteries because occasionally it spikes above that. And that means we need to turn off some systems, but we also need to turn on that system in order to get space elevator parts because I decided it was worth it to go for tier 7 and get ourselves the... Oh, the big recipe, what's it called? I'm forgetting it now. It's the hover pack, that's what it is. So, I decided that I want to go for the hover pack before starting the fuel project, so we need to go shut off some systems. Alright, so what do we have that is not on, or that is on, that needs to be turned off? The basic iron, which is probably not even going to scratch the surface. Uh, the motors are already off, the modular frames are off, uh, the automated wiring, we can shut that down, and that'll give us a little bit of a boost. There we go, we're back under biomass production. Uh, versatile frames, I'm gonna need those for one of the space elevator parts. Well, I'm, I'm gonna need them for the space elevator, I don't know if I need them for the actual like, adaptive control units. I do not. I need the automated wiring for the adaptive control units, but we have enough. And I bet we probably have enough versatile frames at this point, so we're going to turn that off as well. Uh, temporary oil we need to keep on, and we actually need to turn on the smart plating factory. Wow, that really did that big of a jump? Are you kidding me? That's a huge jump for smart plating. That's a bigger jump than the versatile framework was. Are you serious? 712 versus versatile frames are 602. Well, that is absolutely crazy. It's a good thing we have all these battery backups. We're going to head back over there and set up some temporary lines for the advanced space elevator parts. So we are over here at the space elevator. We have set up some temporary factories here, making the space elevator parts hand-fed. We were just shy on versatile framework, so we've got some of that being made as well. We've got our modular engines being made here. We need 500. We currently have 19, so that's fine. Uh, and this we need circuit boards for, which I'm about to go set up a factory for over on the Gold Coast. Just a quick little 20 per minute pure oil into circuit boards recipe, zero waste, nothing super huge. Uh, and then we're going to be bringing the circuit boards back, probably by hand in order to do this. And while the circuit boards are crafting in this area, we're going to start running that train because we unlocked train technology, electric locomotives, railways, all the good stuff, freight cars, just absolutely amazing stuff. And we're going to end up eventually having a personal train that goes all over the world and everywhere we need to go. For now, we're going to get back to this. Versatile framework is finally done. We have all 2,500 in the system, which means we can take all of this and get it out of here. Get it out of here. Now we just need to leave this be. We can reset our inventory back at the base, but our hypertube's offline. Sadness, crying inside. That is such a good looking factory, by the way. Anyway. Uh, we are now going to go back, reset our inventory for enough stuff to build our circuit boards, and I will see you guys over at the oil spot. So we are back over at the Gold Coast oil fields, and we are starting the process of setting up our zero-waste, 20-per-minute circuit board factory purely from oil using the rubber and petroleum coke alternate 
which let me just pull that up here. This one, the rubber and petroleum coke. So the waste from the rubber goes into making petroleum coke, and we're using the recycled rubber by making plastic and then fuel with the diluted fuel recipe in order to make the rest of the rubber that goes into the system. It's a lot of fun. We're going to keep going. So this is it. This is the whole system. We've got the recycling portion over here. We've got the actual production line over here, and it is small. I made a miscalculation, and it doesn't require 240 oil. It only requires 135. So we have a lot more coming in than we actually needed, and it would be easy to double this system, but I feel like that's unnecessary and will just cause a massive power draw. Now, on top of that, we have a recipe unlocked. What the f That's a thing? Automated miner. I didn't know that was a thing. Why would you ever want that? Why would you ever want that? We'll come back to that, but the encased frame is actually something that we're going to be using later on, so we're going to go on ahead and grab it. Now, I'm going to run power lines into all of these lovely machines and give you an update when we turn it all on. And just like that, we have activated our power. The consumption has fallen significantly as certain systems around here have been backing up. Thank goodness. And everything seems to be working at this point. I do need to get rid of this though, that way the heavy oil residue actually functions properly. We've got the oil coming in from over here as you can quite clearly see. This lovely, lovely 240 per minute oil node. Pumping all of its resources, making a rubber, which goes straight into the assemblers. Thank you Smart Mod, for all of your lovely help. And produces heavy oil residue with this little fancy lip thing that I got from Kibitz. No more angled crap like that. It's all 90 degree right angles, spick, spam, and clean. And we should be grabbing our heavy oil residue any second here. There it goes. Petroleum coke coming out the front there. Down here, it looks like everything is working. With the exception of the fact that I forgot to put cases in the system! Oh no. I need to fix this immediately. Crisis averted. We have put empty canisters into the system and the packaged water is going as it needs to go. Thank goodness. Praise be. With the water coming in and the heavy oil residue also coming in, we should be making packaged fuel, which I forgot to hook up to the thing. <laughs> Benji, what are you doing, my guy? Ah, <sighs> there's our first fuel coming out. And the fuel should be coming through here any second now. Oh my gosh. There it goes. Alright, good, good, good. Oh, I'll give you an update when this machine starts working. Our machine is working! We should be getting a rubber out any second now. Any second. Right? Yes, any second. There goes the rubber! And now our system should be working at peak efficiency. And there's the circuit board. We need 500 of these bad boys for the uh, adaptive control units, I think? Right? Yes. Uh, and we'll just kind of be hand feeding that. At this point, I'm going to leave a bunch of these resources here for future project anything sort of deal. Uh, we're going to head back to the main base and start working on a train. Choo-choo. And here we go. The thing that we've been looking forward to the entire time, except for the fact that it's about to do an autosave. The expanded power infrastructure, which gives us... Milestone reached. Whole bunch of the stuff. The fuel generator will match power generation to the increased consumption of recently acquired technologies and buildings. Additionally, improved conveyor belts and lifts can now be constructed. Caterium scanning on Mark 4. Mark 4 stuff? 
And this is done now. That's useless. The these are all garbage. Well, that's a shame and a half that they were all garbage. Woohoo, though! We finally got expanded power infrastructure. Finally, finally, finally. It is about time that we got the expanded power infrastructure. Let's just go take a look as soon as I get some resources. Okay, now that I have some resources, let's check out the thing that we just unlocked. The wonderful, amazing fuel generator. Absolutely wonderful. It looks gorgeous as per usual. It's got the idle and the connection and everything. Can't put any fuel inside of it unless it's a liquid. But we're going to be messing more with that later. Right now, we need to find a spot to put a train hub, which I'm thinking probably over here because it's pretty flat and I've done a little train hub over in this area beforehand. And then the train that we're going to run is just going to go pretty much straight this direction. Uh, and then up this little side of the mountain face here. And then we'll be running over to the fuel gen spot. Exciting stuff. So we have our first train set up over here. And we got some lovely names from Supreme Being 8 in the chat. Thank you very much to him. We have the Homeward Caboose, which is our train. And it is traveling along the Country Road rail line. It is connected directly into the main power network because it's going to be getting the main power network to other places around the map. And in addition to that, we have this lovely system that we're using to get the train across. I think it looks pretty, and we're going to keep going with it. So I will see you when we are over at the aluminum spot. Spicy stuff. So we are going to be trying to get from here all the way over there, where those stinky rocks are. Except not where those stinky rocks are, because they're stinky rocks. We've got a bunch of spider friends beneath us. I figured you guys would want to watch me go deal with them. The only way we know how. With violence. And I don't have enough inventory space. We'll get rid of the flower petals. Thank you for your organs. Very fun. And I figure I can just show a little bit of the process that I go into while making this train track. So we come over here, which is where the next piece of the train line is going to be. And we put a pillar down. And then we take care of a friend trying to stalk us because we don't want to be stalked. I put that in the wrong spot. Or wrong orientation, rather. There we go. That's a pillar. And then a pillar top. And then a frame foundation. And we go up. We put a rail line right in the center. And then we stretch it as far as we can, but I don't think we'll actually be able to do this. I think we're going to need a pillar somewhere in the middle. So we'll go figure that out right now. There we go. We got it figured out. We just needed a little bit of help getting ourselves out here. So that is now good to go. And we are going to keep heading in that direction. Somehow. So we are continuing the train line here. We've made some decent progress after getting through that little ravine and up the side here. We just need to go around this little rock, through this little pinhole, and then we will be at the factory location. All right, we are taking a ride on the train line so far. We're just gonna hold W the whole time while we're on our way. I love this design. I'm so glad I saw somebody doing this. This one could be better looking, to be honest. And this isn't done yet. This will have the same thing, like just pillars going down on every single one of the frame foundations. And then here's the crevice that we were aiming for. 
Ooh, wow, I lag a lot while I'm loading chunks there. That must be one of the world borders. And then we go into another biome. There's the crater lake, by the way. There's some nitrogen gas here. It's being guarded, though. Can't see who's guarding it, and I'm not gonna stop. We go past the bean pool on the left here. Through the jungle trees. So we didn't have to clear much of the jungle, but we did have to clear some of it. We go over top of some water and caterium that will be used later on. And here we are. The only thing we have to do left from this point forward is run the train line through this little crevice area, and we'll pretty much be right at the fuel gems. So we are finally over here. It's finally done. The train track is finally completed. We have a train station here, just kind of a temporary thing for me to be able to get back and forth. The entire train line going all the way and combing through everything and around and over the stinkiness is finally completed. We don't have enough concrete in us to actually be able to finish this huge platform that I made, and I don't know if I'm going to need all of this huge platform that I made. We're going to figure out how this whole system is going to work here in a moment, and the fuel gens are going to be over there. Right now, we need to take the train back home, get the resources that we're going to want in order to get back here, and finally start digging into the oil in this little area here. You can see it. You can see it. There's oil. There's oil. There's oil. Nothing but oil. And right next to the red forest. We're going to be hopping up there and grabbing coal as well because we're going to be making a absolute ton. Absolute ton. Of this polymer resin crap. And that's polymer resin is going to be used in... Ooh, why can't I find it? Uh, it's going to be used in this recipe, the fabric recipe. And then the fabric recipe is going to go into a machine making gas filters, which we haven't unlocked yet. That's up in the top right corner. We need to unlock that. But right now, we are going to go home and grab a whole bunch of resources in order to get this factory underway. So I'll see you guys soon. So we are back at the train station here, and we have some stuff ready to be loaded up and sent over to the Orange Heaven train station, which is what we are naming our fuel uh, area. Anyway, we've got a lot of stuff in our inventory, and this isn't even enough motors. This is 2,800, and I need almost 4,000. We've got rubber and plastic, more rubber and plastic, all of our computers, a little bit of modular frames, but not a whole ton, just a thousand. We need two thousand. Uh, and then a whole bunch of steel beams, pipes, and encased beams. So at this point, we are going to hop into our homeward caboose. Hit V to pull up our... Oh no! We don't have power. I don't have cable. I don't have inventory space. Oh no! I made... I made a boo-boo. I, I made... I made a bit of a boo-boo. <gasps> Why does that require two? Oh no. Oh no. Well, I'm gonna have to sort that issue out. Give me just a moment. We are finally taking the last of all of our stuff over. This has been like, I don't know, an hour or 45 minute process getting all of our resources from here on the train and over to Orange Heaven. Thankfully, we're almost done and then we're gonna be wrapping up for the night. So we finished up the platform. We've got a 30 by 30 sitting here in front of us currently. I don't know if it's clipping at all. I'm gonna have to go down and cut down some of those trees, get them out of the way. Uh, and then somehow we're gonna need to figure out how we are going to be doing the piping and refineries and everything. 
I've already decided that I'm going to do two rows of refineries and just make them long instead of doing three rows of not as long. Uh, and then we're going to have more rows of refineries revolving around fuel. And then obviously the packagers and everything else are going to have to be after that. So I'm probably going to do some screwing around off camera in terms of trying to figure out what to do and how to do the setup. But next time, we are going to be grabbing these three oil nodes over here by these lovely bulbous tree kind of dealios and that purple slug. Ooh, tasty. We're going to be bringing it up, and then we're going to be sorting out everything else that we're going to need for this satisfactory little platform. After that, we're going to have to hook up all of the generators. We have all of our materials in these bins. How many bins do we have? We have nine bins. Uh, and then, obviously, we have the train that we can take back if we ever need any more resources. So that is going to be an end to the video, looking off into the Red Forest. I would like to thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed because I know I sure as hell loved this stream. If you were in the stream and are watching this just to make sure you didn't miss anything, thanks for being here. And if you're just watching the video because you don't want to deal with all the monotony of the belt work and seeing me do crazy stuff like that, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the updates. Have a wonderful one everyone and I'll see you in the next stream.